Yo, 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 what's up ladies and gentlemen, you're SoCal Storm Chaser, Double Lead is back with a brand new Storm Chasing video, so check this out ladies and gentlemen, so I know in my last video I said that I was going to work my way west, however, I saw something incredible from a distance, I saw a dust storm break out as storms work their way down to Phoenix, these storms came from the northeast and they're working their way down southwest. So decided to stay a little put to record that in this video. So let's roll some of the clips that I got. And with no further delay, let's dig in right into the video. But before I do so, if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys like my videos, make sure you guys sit back, relax. And now let's dig in right into today, storm chasing video. If you guys were paying attention to my last video, this was the storm that I was in and that thing really intensified. So right now I'm gonna post up right here for a bit to record some lightning. weather update you could see how this storm is playing out and i haven't seen lightning in the last two to three minutes looking east towards phoenix and they're about to get into it and more thunder clouds are going up in this area so these clouds will form in the distance i could see thunderstorms racing up from tucson northwest i don't think they'll make it to phoenix but this line of clouds right here yeah this may be interesting this could be very interesting and as i look to the west more clouds are going up over there too realistically speaking right now we got clouds everywhere we got clouds to the south we got clouds to the east we got clouds to the north and we got clouds to the west they're everywhere right now you can see that storms are taking over phoenix however they don't look as photographic as the one that i want to chase right now which happens to be in the direction that i want to go so heading west we have a pretty good towering cloud right there that could go up as well so we're gonna make our move west this storm right here is starting to dissipate which not something i would like to see as a storm chaser but that's part of the storm life now that's a nice looking thunder cloud right there in the distance look at that beautiful thunder cloud right there a very last minute change of plan right now i am gonna make my way towards phoenix because there's a big cell a very big cell that dropped west of phoenix to be exact northwest of phoenix at least my drive home will be awesome because the storms that are located to the west those may produce a lot of lightning this cloud right here is one that's gonna go off very soon and remember these are outflow boundaries that are pushing these storms these outflow boundaries are pushing storms to the southwest and these outflow boundaries are also pushing storms to the northwest this thundercloud right here is one to watch because that one looks like it's ready to go off at any second but like i said before my ride home could be an awesome one because those storms could be lightning producers as the sun goes down i don't like driving through them but that's when you know the storm is producing a lot of wind look at that big wall of dust that this storm is picking up these are outflow boundaries that are pushing these storms to the southwest even if i wanted to chase that storm i don't think that storm is chaseable right now because there's a big wall of dust that's coming through look at that big wall of dust right there ladies and gents and those are the storms from tucson that are racing northwest towards phoenix and again i thought these were breaking apart but they redeveloped and here we are according to the doppler these storms were breaking apart one second and then the next second these storms redeveloped all of a sudden but the million dollar question how come nobody's saying anything about this dust storm that's breaking out so right now i'm posted right here watching this dust storm play out and you can see those storms that are racing up northwest towards phoenix but i don't think they'll make it however what i do think might happen is that additional storm cells may form in between right now i'm just posted watching these storms play out as they work their way southwest and <laughs> that's the second time i've seen that guy <laughs> yeah he's just out there riding his bike but yeah watching these storms play out that dust storm is quickly playing out as well and those storms coming up from the southwest are also playing out as well. As you guys know, I don't like dust storms. I think they're gross, 
but they're cool to watch from a distance because it signifies that the storm is big. The storm is producing a lot of wind and that's a key sign that there's a lot of wind, the storm is strong. So right now I'm thinking about making my move west because this storm has a lot of dust. I won't be able to see anything and that's something I don't want to go through. However, the storms heading west, they are very photographic. And like I said in a previous clip, my ride back will be awesome because those storms may produce a lot of lightning as the sun sets. Very quickly, here's one last look of this storm that's playing out. Phoenix is getting into it right now. And you could clearly see how this dust storm is playing out as well. Again, I am not gonna drive through that dust storm, so I'm not chasing that storm. So I'm gonna let that storm go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video right here. We saw how this storm played out. We saw how that dust storm played out as it moved across Phoenix, and I am not driving through that dust storm. So I'm gonna make my move west and chase other storms that may be lightning producers as the sun sets. So that would be awesome to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.